Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title of this video, I am just gonna show you guys how I do my little blowout on my hair and ignore my dance. I was listening to music, and if you hear any baby noises, I'm currently holding Zaya. Yeah, she wants to do the voiceover with me. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna rock with that. Alright, so we're not gonna talk about that damage. It has already been cut off, had to let it go. Um, but anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and start off by parting my hair in half, and then I go in and part the other section in half as well. And then I part that section in half again, so that I'm working in like eighths of my hair, because if I do too big of a, se of a section, it's going to be a huge hot mess, and we, that's not what we're going for. So here I'm just taking my Myel White Peony, Peony, I don't really know how to say that, but anyway, I'm taking that leave-in conditioner just because it's a lighter conditioner and spraying it on there. However, once I started using it, I realized that I needed something thicker, so I went over to my Garnier Fructis Buttercream and this worked a lot better. Next, I just go ahead and I split that in half, as I said before, in order to work in smaller sections. Also, please ignore the hair that is moving to the left of the screen. That is my mother. I don't know what she was showing me, but yeah, you know how this works. When What video do I upload where someone's not popping in? So next, you just wanna comb out your hair. Make sure that it is fully detangled and ready to be blow dried because you don't want any tangles because you want your hair to be flat and sleek and pretty and popping. okay? Okay. Next, I'm going in with my Sally's Brand Silk Remedy because it's way cheaper than the Chi Silk Infusion. That's like $22 for like two ounces and I don't got no money like that to be, you know, I don't even straighten my hair like that. So, yeah. Then I just blow dry my hair, ignore that crazy face, something's wrong with me. And when I blow dry my hair, I do hold my hair taut in order to do the tension method. So my plan is to get my blow dry as flat as possible. So I'm going ahead and going in with my dimming brush and I'm kind of doing like the chase method. And when I blow dry, I am on medium heat, sometimes high, but high on this blow dryer is super hot. So typically it's on medium. And then I also just go ahead and hit my ends because my ends are like the puffiest part of my hair and nobody wants a slick blowout with puffy ends. Next, I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat the process. Since I already have the leave-in conditioner on my on that entire side of that head, I'm just gonna go ahead, side of that head, because it's not my head. <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna put 
some of the silk remedy on it to help smooth while I blow dry, detangle it, and then go ahead and blow dry again using the tension method. This is my hair completely blown out. As you can see, the blonde on my ends made them a little bit puffy, but don't worry about that because I have since then trimmed and actually cut and chopped all of my blonde off. About all of my blonde, I have a little bit left, but all the most damaging part of the blonde, I cut it all off. But this is just how I do my blowout. Um, it was it wasn't hard at all. It's fairly easy, and I just love when my hair is gonna blow out. It's just so fun to work with and play with and yeah. So this is some of the hairstyles that I was able to get with my hair being blown out. If you aren't, follow me on Snapchat. Why not? That's where all of this stuff goes down. Also follow me on Instagram. I'm getting a little better at Instagram stories. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah! Peace out. And Zaya says bye too.